So today I got a perfect programmer for all the IoT board manufacturers out there to program their ESP266 module or the ESP32 module. So this is a programming jig for our ESP models where you can just insert it and program it straight away. And not only that, it can also be used as your initial development board for testing out your firmware as it got all the GPU pins exposed on the programmer itself. And in this video, I'm going to show you the complete process about how to use this programmer to upload the code into your ESP modules. So this is going to be a really informative and useful video for you. So let me just grab all the components and till then, you watch out this ad from our sponsors. This video is sponsored by LTM, which is a PCB designer based software company. Now, LTM is not just another PCB designing software, rather, it's a world class and award winning PCB designing tool that has some features like advanced interactive routing with auto completion, any angle routing, bus routing, face and length tuning, follow me mode, and much more, which makes it an ideal choice for PCB designing by a lot of companies. Along with this, they do also have LTM 365 that not just covers the PCB designing part, but also helps with design sharing via web, sharing designs to mechanical team for product design, centralized cloud storage, and a lot more. And along with all this, they do have a very useful search engine made just for electronic components called as Octopart. Using Octopart, you can search for any components and you would be able to compare its price and availability around the globe. Not only that, you can also get the details about the components like its specifications and data sheet all at one single place. So LTM provides everything to make your production task a lot easier. So do try out all the services right now as you'll be getting a free trial version by just clicking the link mentioned in the description. Happy making. So now let's just start with programming the ESP32 module using our ESP32 programming jig. Now the first step is we need to install the driver for this programmer. So this programmer is based on the CS340IC and you can just visit this website whose link is attached in the description and you can download the driver for your system. In case if you are using Windows, you can download this driver and in case you are using the Mac, you can download this driver. Just download the zip file and install into your computer and make sure you restart the computer. And now to cross check whether the driver is successfully installed or not what you can do is you can just power up this programmer go to your arduino id and the com port for this board should appear here in my case as you can see this is the com port 14320 for this programmer which means that the driver is successfully installed in my system now the next step is we need to insert this esp32 module into our programmer for that we'll just power it off first of all to make sure it doesn't damage our esp module then we'll slowly insert it and now we'll slowly press it and as you can see it gets snap fitted on it perfectly and it's really tight it will not uh, you know be taken off easily and all the legs are perfectly touching the pins of the esp32 model which is really great now we can just power it up and here what i'll do is i'll just upload the basic wi-fi scan example code so the com port and the board is already selected so i can just hit the upload button and now let's see whether the program gets automatically uploaded or we to press the boot button i guess it will be automatically uploaded as we have this tiny little transistor which are used for the auto programming and here i was right the program started uploading automatically but in case it doesn't start uploading here we have the boot button as well and here you can just press and hold it to make it go inside the boot board so right now the code is successfully uploaded so what i'll do is i'll open the serial monitor and let's just reset this board it says scan start and here are all the Wi-Fi networks available around the ESP32 module and with this we successfully uploaded the code using this programming jig and now to remove this module you can just power it off and here on the back we have a nice little cutout through which we can insert our thumb and easily remove the ESP32 module and now we can use this module into our IoT projects or products and now let me show you the steps for the ESP8266 modules as well. So now talking about the ESP8266 programming jig then this is also based on the same CS340 driver IC so the same driver will work which you install for your ESP32 programming jig. Now I particularly find this programmer way more interesting because it not just helped to program this ESP8266 module but here as you can see it is mentioned as it can program the ESP0707, 12S, 12F, 12S and not only that it has a dedicated slot for programming the generic ESP8266 as well. So let's start with the generic ESP266 only so what I'll do is I'll just power it off first of all and insert it in this manner 
and now I'll just power it up. And here on the Arduino ID, I'll upload the example code for ESP266 Wi-Fi scan. So I'll select the right board and port. So right board is generic ESP266 for this particular version and the COM port is already selected. So I'll straight away hit the upload button and let's see if it gets uploaded or not. And the code started uploading automatically onto this module. The code is uploaded. Let's just open the serial monitor and let's just reset this board. Okay, starting Wi-Fi scan. And here are all the available Wi-Fi networks around this module. So it got successfully and smoothly uploaded onto this. And now let's try uploading into this one. So I'll just power it off. Remove the ESP8266 module. And I'll insert it in the same manner that we have inserted the ESP32 chipset. So first you need to settle it down properly and then you can slowly insert it and it will be snap fitted. Again very tight fitting, it will not remove easily and all the pins are properly touching the legs of the ESP module. Now we can power it on and here the code will remain the same but we need to change the board. So for that uh, here we will select the node MCU 1.0 and the COM port is selected. And now let's just hit the upload button. Okay, so for this board as well, the code started uploading automatically without pressing any boot button. Okay, so it's successfully uploaded. Let's just reset this board. And as you can see, it says starting Wi-Fi scan. And here again, we got all the Wi-Fi networks available around this module. And that's how you can easily and smoothly program all your ESP modules using this lovely programming jigs. Isn't that a super convenient tool for IoT hardware developers? Well, being a developer, I personally feel it's really very useful and a must have tool for your lab. Now I know it's not a new tool in the market, rather it's there since so many years now. But the thing was, it was not easily available here in India and now as we became importers we imported it instantly for us and for all you people as well so yes both the programmer jigs are available for sale on our website techiesms.com at the best price on internet here in India you can find its purchase link down in the description of this video so we got the best tool at the best rate for you and if you're a new user and fear buying from a new website well we do have a cash on delivery option for you all new people so yeah go get one for yourself right now and make your task of programming the modules a lot easier and yeah that was it about this video and now share your thoughts about these programmers and also let me know which method you were using to program the ESP32 and the ESP266 module let's have a conversation below and yeah that being said I am just ending this video here and now just wait for my next video until then explore learn share with me techie sms